This is our second part series with Dr. Rucker, continuing about ozone. So the first question, Dr. Rucker, is how does ozone work? Today we're going we're gonna to address two questions. How does ozone work? <clears throat> and also, why do conventional physicians lack the knowledge regarding ozone? Well, a lot of times I like to share information directly from a book. So today we're going to start with one that's written by one of the smartest men that's been involved in medicine in this country. It's by Dr. Jerry Tennant, T-E-N-N-A-N-T, -N Healing is Voltage. The reason Dr. Tennant is fascinating is he's, he's a very highly trained physician who actually invented LASIK surgery. So you think he knows what he's doing? Actually, even our interviewer has had LASIK surgery. So why am I using this book as my teaching resource? In here, Dr. Tennant has a chart. You don't have to zoom in on it. I'm going to describe the chart. But it, sh it shows cell voltage, minus 50, all the way to positive 30. Here at positive 30 and an acidic pH 6.48, Dr. Tennant notices cancer occurs. Minus 25, 7.44 pH, normal for adults. Minus 50 volts, 7.88 pH, makes new cells. That is the highlight, the cornerstone. If you go on to read in this book by Dr. Tennant, he just says, Without the ability to achieve negative, negative 50 millivolts and the necessary raw materials to make new cells, you cannot maintain your health and you suffer aging and chronic disease. So, in order to understand this, a patient must ask himself or herself, how do cells normally get voltage? How do cells store voltage? Why did my voltage drop enough to allow me to get sick? And one other thing he mentions in this book is, in order to get negative voltage, you have to have substances that donate electrons. So that is what ozone does. Ozone is the ultimate donor of electrons. It has a negative charge to it because it's unstable. It donates electrons and causes a drop in voltage of the cells, which causes healing based on that table and also increased mitochondrial energy. Just to mention a couple things. So one tidbit I'm going to leave you with is ozone, oxygen, alkalinity, acupuncture, uh, even technologies like Skanar, Rife Treatment, all these things cause a lowering of voltage and that's why we have healing. And Dr. Tennant does a great job explaining that, but ozone does that through electron donation, through charged oxygen that we talked about in our previous little podcast when uh, Tesla created the coil that causes the charging of oxygen and creating ozone. Now, second question is always one of my more fun questions is, if this is the case, why don't conventional doctors know about ozone? Well, no person better to answer that question than a conventional doctor. That's how I was trained. I was conventionally trained. And I understand what it's like to be on the other side. <clears throat> Having said that, the other side of medicine, the conventional side, only accepts as dogma that which is presented by the corporate industry. That's that simple. So if, if a corporate interest has an ability to patent and make money off of anything, that's how it reaches the doctor's hands. Whether it's in the form of uh, multi-million dollars in the joint replacement industries and spinal implant industries. How about oxycodone, oxycontin, all that stuff. Every bit of it, somebody's making a lot of money. Ozone is not patentable. Te Tesla patented it and the powers that be drove him to his suicidal brink practically and bankrupt, like many other amazing out-of-the-box thinkers. So this is not commonly accepted or commonly available because there is no big corporate interest that is able to make money off of it. But unfortunately, it works. It works beautifully and our patients are extremely grateful we offer this in our practice and I'm grateful to have stumbled upon the magic and miracle of ozone. So thank you for listening to this second podcast.